Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Nunns. All right. All right. My name's Nick Nunns. You can follow me on Twitter. Um, what makes me an expert? I have, through my lifetime, come around to repair all of the damage that I've done. Um, I started off listening to new metal, and then I started listening to good metal, and I was straight edge, and then I started drinking beer by downing an arrogant bastard. So, you know, pretty good start. So now we got to talk about the product. What's similar about the actual music, and what's similar about beer? Um, one of the main things you'll notice is that there's a lot of subcategorization that happens. That's a hard word. There's a lot of uh, categorization that happens in both of these things. There's about 6,000 different ones of each of these, and people will argue forever about whether something is black and technical death metal or something else, or whether it's a black and lager or a hop IPA. I don't know. People just fight all the time. Everybody hires their cousins to do their graphic design. I, I love you, Russian River, but seriously. Which column is the breweries? You have no idea! <laughs> Some of you have an idea, but you cheated. You studied. Uh, sellouts, big deal in both of these things, too. People hate sellouts. Whether your last album was so much better than your first album, or whether, you know, you went to AB and Bev. <laughs> Um, bad thing. The devil. Everybody loves the devil in both of these groups, too. I love the devil, too, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah! <laughs> Theatrics, as you've noticed from my presentation, are a big part of this. Um, whether you're putting on corpse paint or you're spitting in your customer's beer, both of these are acceptable, and both of these are common, I guess. I don't really know where that comes from. Uh, so now we need to talk about because there is some scientific evidence behind this. Um, Decibel Magazine and the Brewing Science Institute got together and did a study, and they actually proved that your yeast viability will, if your yeast is exposed to heavy metal instead of jam bands. Noodly bass solos do nothing for those yeast, I gotta tell you. Also, taste is much better and much preferred in a double blind taste test. Uh, it was proven that most people preferred the metal beer because the other one was a little too granola flavored and just. Uh, uh, so, all of this, of course, is a shameless pitch for the brewery that I'm opening. Um, these two things together into true brewing. I hope to see you guys there sometime soon, as soon as I have a location. And finally, I have to raise a toast to everybody who came, everybody who helped organize, and everybody who's helped me get my brewery on the road. Skull, everyone! Thank you.